Well, welcome to Harama near Madrid and welcome to the brand new Toyota Supra. This is a really interesting sports car co-developed with BMW. Neither BMW nor Toyota could really afford to build a new generation sports car. So in the interests of collaboration, they got together, they basically decided their, if you like, a shopping list for the new Z4 and the new Supra. And since then, each of them have been developing their cars. The new Supra features a turbocharged inline six cylinder petrol engine with over 220 kilowatts and 450 newton meters. Toyota's not saying just how much over though. Supra has a rich history. This is the fifth generation of the car. And this car, despite the fact that it shares significant amounts of its mechanicals with BMW, has a wonderfully cohesive and real Supra feel. It's a very capable car. It's not an M car and it's not a full-on performance car. There will be later versions that do that. What this car is, is a very approachable, very quick, very capable, everyday sports car. Toyota Europe's engineers honed the new Supra on the road, not just on the racetrack. The prototype features an eight-speed automatic transmission, but a manual version may be offered. Perhaps the highlight of the new Supra is how it feels behind the wheel. The steering is precise, it's beautifully weighted, very accurate. And for a car that's not meant to be a racetrack car, even on this challenging Harama layout, it feels at home. Toyota Australia has confirmed Supra is coming down under, but not until the third quarter of 2019. No news yet on price, but at top spec, it won't be cheap. Even at this first drive, even in this pre-production version, we can tell you that Supra is a very capable, very polished bit of equipment. I'm really looking forward to driving the final version.